What's up guys, it's your boy Rue, and we are back for another Yeast 9 video. Last time, massive disaster struck, died like literally a million times against that bug, but we eventually took him down. Now we're at finally at Shantytown and we are yes, investigating to find information about this case. So let, let uh, uh, Adol, the investigator, I don't know what I'm saying, like, I literally finished recording the previous video right before this, and uh, it was insane. So yeah, let's do this investigation. Roman Garrison is standing guard. So can't go this way. Literally the first place I go, I run into guards. Just, just the story of my playthrough right now. Yeah, so Inferno is the definite, like, bloodbath death just everywhere i don't know if i still i don't want to really change the difficulty because i feel like if i lower it to like normal maybe even hard it's going to be too easy you feel me and i want this to be challenging let's talk to this little kid what a good kid doing laundry Okay, splashimation part. She can't talk. What does this man, what does old man Ram got to say? <laughs> I'm lost, you know. You got to play cool. We can't make him feel any suspicious. Spill him, make him feel any suspicion. The Sis City held out until the very end back when Rom invaded Glia. When the war ended, those who revolted in the hopes of autonomy were swiftly quelled. That makes sense. Glians who sided with Rom. I so I'm saying I'm thinking Rom means Roman, like the Roman Empire, I guess. Like the Pendleton started cropping up not too long after. It was then that the wealth gap between us Glians slowly became more of a chasm. Okay. So definitely seems like some shady business, for sure. The poor and needy flock together, and now living here is no longer a choice for us. How do you feel about Pendleton? Yeah, okay. They snatch up huge profit margins through massive investments alone. Envy and resentment are just about the only prices they have to pay for it, okay? It was the Pendleton Company who collaborated with Rom after the war. Some are of the opinion that it's thanks to them Balduke was able to retain its rights. Yeah, that looks- that's- the situation sounds very complicated. I think that that Rom he's talking about is the Roman Empire, but I'm not sure because I'm not sure who Gleans are either. I'm a, I'm a, I'm gonna research that. All right, guys, I'm back. So I looked at the fandom wiki real quick just to get a little information. So Rom is so Rom is the Roman like in the Roman Empire. It's actually its capital, which I did not know. So. The Roman Empire invaded this land, and the Gleans is essentially like the native, the actual native people. Yes. So, Rom, the Roman Empire invaded this place and essentially took it over to put it in his own territory. And so, like all these people, essentially like native uh, livers, and whatnot, have to live in these poor areas where like the, who, the, whoever, because they didn't accept them. Basically, is what I'm understanding from that. So I'm actually, after I play this playthrough, I mean, after I finish this playthrough of Monster Knox, I am probably going to do every single game in the series. Because I find the lore very interesting. So if you if you guys would be interested in seeing that, let's get these videos at least to two, three likes, and I'll, I'll definitely bring those in here. That way I know that you guys like the videos and look forward to seeing more content of the series and more other East games. And then... Once I get that full overarching picture and story and understand the full lore, I'll replay this game again to get that extra perspective. You know what I'm saying? But for right now, we're going to keep going because uh, I, I still like it this way. It, it provides a little bit more suspense. It makes it a lot more interesting. But yeah, that's very interesting though. So the Roman Empire conquered this land. 
And so the Gleans are like the actual the people that used to live here before they came. Yeah, so when the Roman Empire took over, the Roman people came over here, and now they're like the rich basically, and then the poor became even more poorer. So maybe... So we, I feel like if, if the White Cat is actually Krisha, she probably either feels bad or she's actually not a Roman. I don't know, we'll find out. But it seems like the Pendleton Company is making things a whole lot worse for these people. Okay, so yeah, now it's... Okay, I see the situation now. So this is this is probably a glimpse into the darkness that, uh... Maybe it's a glimpse to the darkness that, um, a police was talking about. What, where, what is this? Where are we now? The music stopped. It's dark. It looks like a dungeon. Okay, and I'm in my form. Yo, what is this symbol? I feel like this symbol is supposed to be something important. See what this grandma and I'm guessing her grandchild has to say. White cat back at it again. Honestly, now I have no problem with what the white cat's doing. The Romans are on some some f nonsense. The prison mines. I think this is the first time we've heard of that. I wonder what Adol is going to do now. Knowing this situation, like hearing some of the situation, is he really going to sacrifice these people's livelihood for information on the prison? Interesting. So remember, the Pendletons are allied or very close partners with the uh, Roman garrison. That's true. The little people always get screwed over. Yeah, she's she's also yeah. No, I understand what the grandma's saying. Like, if they just keep letting the white cat take care of them, eventually, if something would happen to the white cat, they'd be all screwed. Even more so than they already are. But yeah, this situation, I didn't know it was like this. I had a feeling the Romans were up to no good, but I didn't, I didn't put it together at the beginning. Oh, why is there a spawn point? Why is there a spawn point here? I don't like that. What does Hannah have to say? Wait, the water's polluted. Don't drink it. So you see, this is where those who lost everything in the war gathered afterward. So the war meaning the war between the native people of Balduk and the Roman Empire. And so now the Roman Empire is the one that's ruling over everything. So the reason why, so when I was reading it on the wiki, the reason why uh, they want Adol is supposedly he's been, a lot of his adventures go against what they've been doing. Or like what their goals are. Probably because Adol's always helping the people. Yeah, I, I was always interested in this game. Like when I played Yeast 8, like I was already hooked onto it with the whole lore and the adventure aspect and the gameplay. But now that I've like read a little bit and I've seen a little bit of the mythology and playing through 9, like. Falcom, dude, Falcom is the GOAT of R RPGs. Like, you couldn't convince me otherwise. Let's go through here and see. Okay. Treasure chest. Yeah. Give it 
Oh my goodness. An Arca has appeared. What does that mean? Defeating Lumeris in town will reward you with a special treasure chest called an Arca. Lumeris appear when approaching black pillars in town. Defeating all the Lumeris will cause an Arca to appear where the black pier pillar once was. Interesting. Pillars with the red light host especially- Oh great, this host especially powerful Lumeris. That is just what I needed, you know? Cause you know, the difficulty wasn't hard enough, you know? I haven't been dying at all. Come on, give me something good. Daddy needs a good accessory. Life elixir. Is that- please tell me that's HP. And not EP. Or SP rather. Items. I have two of these. I don't want to use both. Oh, I also have base defense. Plus three. When did I get that? But I don't want to use that just yet. Because I do want to wait. To see how things progress. As far as like how the whole party is going to work. But I am going to increase his HP. Because uh, my HP is not good right now. So give me those. 300. Gains, baby. Gains. Making them gains. Let's move. Nice. Nice, nice. Give me that money. Not too bad. Oh, there's a shop here. Let me guess. Food. Oh, taxes. Yeah. This reminds me, so... I'm assuming that some of you guys who played this because it's made by Falcom also have played Legend of Heroes and Trails. But if you if you have, this reminds me of like the situation in Keldic a little bit. Where like the taxes were being, the taxes were being raised and like... Taxes being a problem in general, which is uh, like it happens everywhere. Real world, gaming world, it doesn't even matter. It's always an issue. This is as quality as quality gets. I have 1900. Ooh, revive and 200 HP. But it doesn't even matter if I have revive because I don't have a party. So I'm not even going to bother with that. And I don't have a party, so party effects don't matter either. Yeah, I'm not even going to bother. I'm not going to bother. Something no, see I'm going to save my money. I'm going to save my money. I am going to save my Monet. Let's talk to Largus. We used to work as a ferryman. The white cat doing them, doing work for them. I like it. At first, I was, I, I didn't, I, I didn't, I was like 50-50 on it, whether it was good or bad. But now I'm definitely convinced it's good. Totally against the Roman Empire. I was already from the start the way they arrested my mans, but now it all makes sense. A little bit at least. Um. Pendleton Company Mines. Wait, so is that the same as the prison mines? I feel like it is. They only use prisoners there. They only use prisoners there. Probably, probably the white cat. Booze and gambling, unbelievable. Unbelievable. See, this is why you don't always like, when there are like people like this that are poor like this, you don't always just give them money because they could just spend it on alcohol and gambling. And then what's the point? That's why, like, also, like, usually what, uh, like, one of my, uh, one of, someone told, used to tell me, like, they only help, like, homeless people, like, go to shelters. They never give money or food because they, they might just trade it for drugs and stuff, which is true. Some people are like that. But then there's the others that aren't. Can I get here? No, I can't. Huh. Again? It spawned again? I literally just took care of it, though. And I'm trying to find this chest, yo. Let me take care of this again. Yeah, after that, after that uh, boss battle, this is nothing. After that boss battle, that was nothing. Let's be honest. 
That's where the chest was. I'm so dumb. On the floor. A curse upon whoever reads this. A jinx, a hex. I mean, I'm already cursed. So it doesn't really matter. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. That can happen? Oh, are you serious? Dude, that was... Come on, man. Like, how can you... How can that happen like that? Like, if I'm spawned in a battle, it shouldn't go to a cutscene. Like, that doesn't make sense. Your Balduk's savior! We can't thank you enough! Oh, this must be also part of the reason why the, the garrison people were saying that the monsters are causing them problems. Not only because of like the stuff that Hawk was doing, but also what what the White Cat's doing. I wonder what what the um, what the other two are doing. The doll, the raging raging bull, and then I forgot the other guy's name. I can't remember. I think it's Renegade. Like Jay Z, you feel me? Thanks for your patience, everyone. Yo, putting on a show. Whoa! Putting on a show for the people. <laughs> She like gathering a mob? What is she doing? It's high time someone recognized that you all deserve more. Good fortune to everyone. Look, gold coins. Yo, they're rich. Wow. Hey, is that drunk guy? I'm gonna, gonna be rich. Kinda insane. Yep, Roman soldiers are here, of course. Wait, are you serious? I want I, I wanted to body those monsters real quick. I didn't even get to I didn't even get to adventure around the shanty town. I, I need to come back here and discover stuff. Oh, he did report it. Wait, I thought she said it was the white cat. I need to double check my recording, but I'm pretty sure she said it was the white cat, no? Yo, is Carla about to suspect her younger sister? Who I believe is their younger sister? I'm pretty sure she is. But remember, the Pendletons are with the Roman garrison in the Roman Empire, so we are not allies with them. Whatsoever. They are not to be trusted. I kind of like that thing she has in her hair, that gold, whatever that is, and the blue feathers. Oh, that, maybe that's the azure thing that I've been picking up. No, that's an azure leaf. I don't know what that is. Never mind then. I, I don't, I, I'm pretty sure it's Krisha. I'm like, I'm almost 90% sure now. It was about three months ago when the first batch of gold went missing. The very same time the company went to inspect the shanty town's damages. Interesting. So it's it must be her. It has to be. The only ones who'd gone there were father and I, two members of our staff, and and who. It's her for sure. I'm convinced. I'm convinced. It has to be her. I'm convinced. It is definitely after that conversation. She said that they all the it started three months ago, and um, started three months ago, and they went to visit, but only her, her father, two employees, and then I'm pretty sure she's about to say Krisha, but I'm not. I'm, I, well, I can't guarantee. There you go. There, let's keep on. Let's see what she has to say.
Nah, I ain't buying that for one bit. Can I talk to these two? I can't. Okay. Welcome. Let me know what does he have help. again? No, nah, have that's not day. worth. I'm gonna go here because I feel like. So before I I came here and I wasn't able to do anything, but now will I be able to go through this door? Yeah, I can go through this door now. Where are you? I know it's you. It is her. It is her. I freaking called it, bro. It was so obvious. They made it so obvious. Are we about to chase her? Yep, we're about to chase her. Let's go. I already got more than enough practice wall climbing. I'm ready for this. Yo, this music though. Wait, I, I want to chase her. Let me physically chase her. Oh, she's going back to Shantytown. Please, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Don't tell me we have to fight more monsters, please. Okay, good. Huh? Crimson King? Have you been following me? You're darn tootin'. What? Oh, what am I saying? Of course she could. Yo. Literal. Yeah, you can't match my crimson line. My crimson line is broken. What do you mean, why? I need to turn you in so I can get my answers that I need. Let me guess, she just fell into a Nox portal? I just have a strange feeling she just she just fell into a portal. Or a spawning point. Oh, never mind. It is her. I knew it. I called it. It's obvious. Ouch. It was so obvious the way she bumped into us when we were at the gate and then her attitude at the Pendleton Company. Like, it was. they just made it too obvious for that. I could easily predict it. And it was even more, it was basically guaranteed when Carla said that they visited this place. So now my question is, is she a... Oh no, oh no, no, no! Is she a, like, is she re completely related with Carla? So meaning she's a Roman, from she's from the Roman Empire, or is she a local? Because if she's from the Roman Empire... And Aprilis changed her into a monstrum? Why? I'm not the right. This can't be happening. <sighs> how did you know that it was me? Oh yeah, she doesn't know this is at all. She I is he gonna shift back? Yep, he's gonna shift back. Dude, this is so dope getting to see like some of the monsters like human like I guess like quote-unquote human form I'm really curious about the doll though. I wonder what her situation is like oh, no. So she must have been listening in yeah, she, she, she must have been listening in for sure I'm sorry. I didn't mean to eavesdrop she probably panicked and she made that sound at the door. I'm really, really sorry. I used the white cat's power to steal from Pendleton's safe. White cat's power? What is the power? Is it to be stealthy? I feel like it's to be stealthy, like light on their feet. It would make sense because it's a cat. Once went to the shanty town with everyone in the company. 
Yep. There, I met many people. Children, the elderly, who were ill because of the mines. Okay. I realized Pendleton was to blame for more of their suffering than I had thought. I knew that I had to do something. That was when I met her. Aprilis. Huh. I decided then that I'd use the money that I made to help these people. That's quite interesting. She saw this place. Really? You literally just gave him a bunch of gold coins. One of the guys that took over him is literally spending it on alcohol, like, at this moment. When I first started, I thought everyone was happy. When there was gold, they were thankful. And they still are. But lately... Easy money is not the way to go. Easy money is not the way to go. It usually leads to bad things. <laughs> Never going back. Exactly. To that stupid job ever you see again. what I'm saying? Like this is this is what happens when you get easy money. Yeah, the old lady ain't getting nothing. It's going towards the booze and gambling fund. Yup. After today, I ain't got a single coin left myself, let alone for the missus. Unbelievable. You're a real half wit, you know that? What? Next time, I'll double what I've lost. Just have to send the wife a coin or two to shut her up. <laughs> wow. This is what happens when you give people money they don't have to work for it. Oh, would it kill the white cat to quit being such a cheapskate and cough up more coins? Yup. You can say that again. Who else is going to fund my retirement? Insane. So now they have other problems in Shanty Town because of what she did. Nice. It literally had the opposite effect. I'm... Not to say I'm surprised though. Because assuming that, because gold coins can be worth a lot. So assuming, like, you know, let's say she gave him 100 gold coins and that's like a month's worth of salary. Like, why would they work? You feel me? Yeah, what are you going to do now? That's a very good question. Well, I understand that things can't continue as they are. I, I'm not doing this because I hate the Pendleton Company. Okay, I just had an interesting thought. I'm gonna talk about all of it after this. I do feel that our methods can be too aggressive. And we sometimes prioritize profits way too much. But Pendleton has also been working with the Romans to help preserve the rights of the clans. I'm not sure how much I buy into that, honestly. The company has always worked in the interest of Balduke. I guess so, but I don't know. I don't know. I'm sure we'll hash more of this issue during the game as we continue forward. Like it, but I am a daughter of the Pendleton family. Okay, so she is the daughter. She's the youngest daughter, but why does she that could makes me question even more why she refers to her father as sir? I'll try talking to my father and my sister. Like, why does she refer to them as sir? I don't understand that. Is she about to say it? I don't think you should tell them. They'll probably report you to the prison. Huh? Interesting. I kind of... I kind of like her character. I wonder how the father will react though. Cause I don't, I, the base of his like hard ass attitude, I can't imagine it being good.
Is yet callow and naive. I mean, she's a little girl. I, I'm pretty sure she has no idea that who she's talking to. <laughs> she has no idea she's talking to. Oh, wait, actually, maybe she does. Because she was able to figure out who Adol was. Maybe she put it together. And so she's, like, giving her advice in her own, like, harsh way. As an older sister. Yeah, I definitely feel like she's giving her advice right here. Yeah, she knew. I'm telling you, she knows. She knew. But sometimes that tough love, man. That tough love. You can't always hold people's hands. Yeah, she put it together based on her- Dude, Carla's smart. She's smart. Alright, give us the information. So, now, so I had two different things I was thinking about, but since we're on this part, I'm thinking that the sacred passage leads to the mines. Let's do it. Give me the passage. Balduk's waste is carried outside the city by an ancient waterway. Ancient waterway. You don't say. Cloca Maxima. Wait, is that the one that was like in the middle of the city? By the uh, where the peddler was set up? Right near the shanty town you were just investigating. Interesting. This is. Okay, so she doesn't know specifics. One of the solitary cell blocks. Never mind. My, I was thinking that it might have led to the mining area, but never mind. Thank you. She kept her deal. It was not a setup. Why does she have what? So she knows more about this man's history, but why does she have to say that? I already knew this is going to happen based off not only my personal gameplay, but the current story, the way this is going. Like, I can see we're kind of leading into where it's going to get dark a little bit. But why did she have to say that in such a foreboding way? Was that necessary? Interesting. Come, but So we're going against basically the prison and she's like, she's being this nice to us. What I find interesting... What I find interesting is that she doesn't care that her sister is the... Is the uh, monstrum. Like, she doesn't care her sister is a monstrum. I don't understand. You'd think that she would go crazy. Like, you would think she would go crazy or like she would have some sort of reaction. You know what I mean? So the other thing I was thinking was that so... The white cat, right? Can I finally go past here? No, I cannot. Nope. So I'm, I'm one final thought before I forget and then I'm gonna end the video. So, Krisha, right? She saw Shantytown, then she wanted to help them, but yes. helping them goes against the uh, Roman Empire and the garrison. So, Aprilis conveniently yes. gave her the power of a monstrum, and her ability helped her to steal. So was it just coincidence that she got that power? Or was it like... Like, you know what I mean? Like, was it, um... A pearly, like, the power is dependent on what your goal is. Dang it. Come on.
Yeah, these are so easy now after doing the other boss. Easy. So yeah. So that's my theory. Like the build the person's ooh, blade ring. What is that? Wait, what the heck? What happened to my equips? I swear I had equips on. Strength plus 10. Yo. Give me those and then give me that. Be looking beefy. Dude, I love the design of Crimson King. I can't like, I can't lie. Like, look at this, man. So yeah, I feel like the, uh, oh, there's a red one. I'm actually going to trigger that real quick. And then we'll call it a video. Wait, but I need a, I need a save point. I need a save point. So I feel like the power that the um, person gains from becoming a monstrum due to the curse that Aprilis gives them is dependent on their purpose or like what me and what means they they're gonna try to get in the Roman Empire's way. Oh, you gotta be serious! Oh, I went. What happened? So I, I'm thinking that when you spawn in the town, like there's a limited area. Cause uh, I've spawned out or I, I've registered out of that previous fight and now the spawning point is gone. That's kind of lame. I wanted to get see what item I got. Anyways, that's gonna be for this one. We found out the identity of White Cat. It was her all along, just like I called it. It was fairly obvious. Like I'm pretty sure if you, anyone who was playing this game could have told for the most part. If they played like JRPGs more than once. So anyways, thank you all for watching. I hope you all enjoyed the video. Have a great, great day and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.